my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back today. I'm gonna to be making a beautiful Vietnamese dish called pho ga. If you've never had it before, it is incredible. It consists of a clear, very concentrated broth that's infused with all kinds of herbs and spices. It's phenomenal. Probably the most popular one I would say here in the US would be pho bo which is the beef stock version, which is absolutely marvelous. But today I'm gonna to be making an equally delicious chicken version, and I got this recipe from Sirius Eats, the author being the famous Kenji Lopez-Alt, and I will put the link down below to the original recipe. I really love Kenji's approach, it's very scientific. He is very curious about methodologies and likes to question techniques, so love his well-researched recipes. I'm looking forward to this one because I love the idea of putting together a homemade pot of soup in 30 minutes and that soup being pho ga, yes, yes, yes. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, you're gonna need a bit of equipment. I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot, which is a plug-in electric pressure cooker. So far, I really like using this machine. I've made a few unconventional recipes, including a three ingredient cheesecake and homemade natto. Besides being incredibly delicious, another thing I like about this recipe, it is fairly economical. This pack of chicken just cost a few dollars. It was on sale for 99 cents a pound. So just for a few dollars, I was able to get enough chicken to feed my entire family. So we're gonna put our Instant Pot on the saute mode, which basically heats the heating element down below. We're gonna add some oil to the bottom. Now we're going to char our onion halves. We're gonna place those in our pot and char them until they're nice and black. And then we're gonna add all the rest of our aromatics. We're gonna add our cilantro, our ginger, all of our spices, our star anise, coriander, fennel, cinnamon stick, cloves. Then we're gonna add two quarts of water to this and our six drumsticks. We're gonna add a quarter cup of fish sauce and our rock sugar. So we're gonna seal this up. And then on high pressure, we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna cool the lid down a bit and do a quick release. Take your chicken legs out, and then we're gonna strain the broth and remove all the aromatic skim, any little bits off the top of the broth. I do have to say the cooking time does not include the time it takes for the cooker to get to pressure. So yes, it cooks for 20 minutes under pressure, but it does take some time for the machine to get the water up to a boil to hit pressure and then cook for 20 minutes. So mine took an additional maybe 10 to 15 minutes for that, so account for that for cooking time. Alrighty, so I already have my noodles prepared and these are what you're gonna need if you really want an authentic tasting pho. These noodles are super easy. All you have to do is bring some water up to a boil, put the noodles in for about 10 seconds, take them out and then put them into your bowl. It's really important not to overcook these noodles. Remember, when we add the soup, it's gonna cook them a little bit more, so yeah. Err on the side of undercooking your noodles. Then it's really important to taste your broth and see how you like it. I added a little bit more fish sauce, I added a little bit more salt, and a little bit more sugar to get it to where I wanted it to be. So make sure you taste it. Now we're gonna add several layers of our beautiful broth. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, move that out of the way. Add some bean sprouts to this. And then I like a little cilantro. The fresh herbs are wonderful some green onion, some freshly torn Thai basil, put that on there as well. Now we're gonna add some chili. Now this is completely optional, but I like my pho a little bit spicy. Oh yeah. This looks so beautiful, I can't wait to taste it. Eee! Okay, get myself a spoon. What I like to do is break up the little burg of noodles. They always like to kind of solidify in the middle there. Give everything a good stir. I like a little bit of sriracha and hoisin in my pho, but I like to put it in a little dish because I find that I can relegate the heat and flavors a little bit better. This is actually something I started doing when I became a mom and I would share my fun noodles with my kids. I used to just take the sriracha and just squirt it right into my soup, but then it would make my soup too spicy and I couldn't give my kids any extra noodles and such. So I started putting it on the side and I find that I actually prefer it that way. You know, the things you learn when you become a parent. Chuk nong mien. Chuk nong mien.
I'm so happy. Mm. The pressure cooker did an excellent job cooking this chicken and making this into a rich chicken broth. It has a great mouthfeel. It feels slippery. It has some body to it. It has a really great chickeny flavor. You can taste all of those spicy aromatics in there. It definitely can taste the clove and the star anise. Fantastic. I love that combination of spice and chicken broth and heat and fresh herbs and the crunch of the bean sprouts. Okay, give me some of those. Mm -hmm. And look at the chicken, it just falls right off the bone. If you've never had pho gai before and you like chicken noodle soup, you must try this dish. It will blow your mind. It will be like nothing you've ever had before because it's just so stinking good. Okay, so this is what I do if I want some of, of this. I just dip it in there like that and go dip and then I eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, so once again, Kenji does not disappoint. This dish is absolutely delicious. Very, very fast to get a very, very good meal. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I want to see your beautiful results if you make this recipe. Subscribe, like, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>